Hey everyone, Larry Snow here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to add push notifications to your website. So when a person comes along to your website, they'll see a little bell icon, which they can click on to subscribe to new posts. They'll get a notification when you add something new to your website. Sounds pretty cool, right? So if you're interested, stick around. It's coming right up. One of the ways in which you can add more traffic to your website is actually to implement these notifications. Now you might be aware of these notifications. You might get them from Facebook and YouTube and maybe some other websites and they have a, a different variety. There's two or three that I know of. We're gonna be taking a look that one, at one that's totally free. It's called OneSignal and it's super easy to implement. You'll need uh, obviously a WordPress website because I'm gonna be showing you how to install it on there. It's actually a plugin and it's gonna and you're gonna need to create an, a free account on one signal. So let's go through this step by step. Before we get into the nuts and bolts, I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like on an existing website. So I have it installed over here on policedriver.com. And if you notice down here in the bottom right hand corner, kind of out of the way but still noticeable is a uh, red circle with a white bell in it. And it'll, if you mouse over it, it'll show you uh, a little pop-up that says subscribe to police driver notifications. And if I click on that, another pop-up window shows up that says subscribe, powered by one signal. So you click on subscribe and it says you are now subscribed. And over on the right-hand side, you might see something from Chrome saying policedriver.com, policedriver.com, thank you for subscribing. Now that's not very original, not very creative, but you get the point. Uh, so the next time uh, any posts go on policedriver.com, I'll get a notification from my Chrome browser saying that Police Driver has a new post. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, adds a lot of traction to your website, gets a lot of traffic back to your website. But I think the, the stats on Police Driver is about 100 or so people actually subscribe, which is amazing to me. So let's take a look at how this all works. So before we get started on one signal, we actually have to implement the plugin on our website. So I'm gonna go over to Security Marketing Solutions. I've already, or actually LarrySnow.me, and I've already typed in one signal. So it's it's one word, and, and when you're looking for it in the plugin directory, and it's one signal free web push notifications. You click on Install Now, and click Activate. Okay, once it's installed, you'll see something down here in the bottom left-hand side of your panel that says One Signal Push. You click on that. And it's going to say at the top, your setup is not complete. Please follow the setup guide to set up your web push notifications. Both the app ID and the REST API keys are required. So we're going to go through this step-by-step. Step. We've already created our One Signal account and we're logged in. Our next step is to create a web push app over on OneSignal. So I, I like to do the plugin version first because uh, it actually gives you the step-by-steps -step on what you need to do uh, versus me telling you, we can just follow step-by-step. -step. So we need to go over here to, so let me just back up a little bit. So if we go under settings, we click on OneSignal, the uh, homepage link. And I've got two other websites here. It wants us to add a new app. So we'll click on the plus. We'll add in our app name, and this will be Larry Snow, like that, and click on Create. And then it's gonna ask you what type of platform are we gonna configure? And we're gonna configure the web push. So we'll click that and click Next. Then we're gonna go over to Website Builder, click on WordPress, and we're gonna add in our site name. So we'll do Security Marketing Solutions, our URL. And 
and our default icon. Now this is something that uh, you'll have to upload to your website. And so what I usually do is just grab it from our website and post the link in there. So I'll go over to our media library on our website. There we go, media library. Let's look for our icon. This is it right here. We'll pick that one. So we'll just grab this URL, just copy that in over to our one signal paste. Now it says 192 by 192 or larger. So I put in 200 by 200. Just keep that in mind. Now, if your website is not HTTPS, you have to do some more configurations. So it says over here that your website works best when it is HTTPS. So please keep that in mind when you're setting something up like this. Click Save. So now I have my app ID and my API key. So we can put that over into the plugin. We're gonna skip Safari ID for now. We're gonna go down to the rest of the settings here. Click on site, Sent Notification Settings. So we do want to use the notification icon. Use this post feature image for Chrome's large notification I, uh, image. Sure. Hide notifications after a few seconds. So we have yes on Mac OS X or no on other pl platforms. And we have yes by default or no. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to keep it as the default. Uh, we want to probably put something in here like uh, new post on security marketing solutions. We also have the option to send it uh, notifications to iOS and Android platforms. I'm going to skip that for now. So this is what our message is going to look like. So kind of like uh, what we already saw on policedriver.com. And it has some other features here as well. So we can use alternate full screen prompt, uh, automatically prompt new visitor, uh, new site visitors to subscribe to push notifications. I actually turned that off on Police Driver, and I can I kind of made it uh, passive. So when people see the bell, they click on it and subscribe. But you can have it right when they come to the web page. You might have seen these. It'll have a, a little pop up or, or just a little box that says, hey, do you want to subscribe or do you want to allow push notifications? And it'll say allow or block. And uh, you have that option. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now. Just going to take all of the default options here. So our only theme option here is red or white. So I like red because it kind of stands out. And we also have the position, so we can put it on the bottom left or the bottom right. And we can also set the size. I have it set at medium. And then there's a whole list of uh, text no customizations and, and notifications when people subscribe, unsubscribe, and, and tips and stuff like that. So I'm just going to leave that as is, all default. Obviously, you'd go in there and put in your own specific uh, notifications that you want to add. And if we scroll down, it'll uh, give you an option for a welcome notification, which is what we saw on Police Driver when we clicked on subscribe. It says welcome. It said policedriver.com, policedriver.com. Obviously, you want to be more creative, so we can put in uh, uh, something in here. It says uh, thanks. Well, that says thanks for subscribing, and I'll probably put in welcome to SMS, something like that, and we can... Uh, just leave the default URL. So here's we get the uh, no automatic notification settings, and I'm just going to leave that as default, and we can actually put in UTM tracking parameters, which is fantastic. I'm just going to leave that as is right now. Obviously, I had to come back and put in my customizations in there. If you're not familiar with UTM tracking, I did a video on that. You can go look at it here. And uh, it, it was a quick review of the URL builder, the Google campaign URL builder, also known as UTM tracker. And then there's some uh, advanced settings. So I'm just gonna leave everything the way it is, click save. So now that we have all our configuration, we go back to one signal and we click finish. And the rest are native apps and stuff. So I'm not gonna do anything with that. And the next one, the other two are uh, the Amazon 
Echo and the Google Chrome apps. I'm not participating in those, but if you are, you can turn those on and people can get notifications through your apps, through uh, the Amazon Echo and that type of thing, which is really cool. Actually, Amazon Echo is coming soon, which is awesome. All right, so let's go take a look at what it looks like on the outside of the website. And there it is, all the way down the bottom. I'd probably make it a little bigger it's hard to see you all the way down there, and I'd probably move it up a little bit. There's ways where you can finesse the exact location of it on your uh, website. So here it is down here. It does work. Click on here, and it has a little pop-up uh, Chrome. Watch me allow it or block it. I'm going to click allow. And down here it says, thanks for subscribing. And up here it says, welcome to SMS. Thanks for subscribing. Now the next time I post a... And so the next time I publish a post on LarrySnow.me, I'll get a notification right on my browser. Very, very cool. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up because that gives me some feedback that you actually enjoyed the video. If you want to know more about me, come to this website, LarrySnow.me, and I'll see you in the next video.